Welcome here. What we're celebrating today are shared... Oh, I've got to stand behind the speaker, I've just realised. We're celebrating today our shared, our shared streets and basically rescuing our spaces back, potentially from our cars and connecting us up as a group of people. We were lucky enough to receive a substantial amount of funding to trial some of the ideas that have gone on in uh, both here in Crookwall and in Lagan. We've started some work in Taralga and we're already having discussions with Gunning. All of the things that we're trialling are temporary, which means if it works for Grookwall, then we can look at next opportunities to put them here permanently. Some of the things we've done are the table tennis here, which can go to any park. We're talking our parklets, our planter boxes, which are also seat boxes, some murals, um, all those type of things which some people might have said before, oh, I don't want that. But when you can touch it, see it, feel it, you go, I really like this. Um, and that's what today is about, connecting us back after our dreadful year of COVID and floods and droughts. And we couldn't have done that without the help of our state government who have generously funded this whole project um, and has allowed us to put in these furniture pieces and to put up some murals to see if that's what people wanted. And I'd like to hand straight over to Wendy Tuckerman as our state local member. Thank you, Colleen and Mr. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's really a pleasure to be here. And I just wanted to congratulate the council for being so innovative in this space. And I, I just, and why I congratulate them is because it is an innovation to put in temporary elements such as this to test the community and to get feedback from the community as to what they like and what they don't like. Because there's no more important thing than to create wonderful spaces for the community to gather. It's important in a main street setting because it attracts people to come to your CBD, which in turn, the businesses will absolutely love. Things like our table tennis table, encouraging people to be physical and to actually come out and enjoy the park space as well. So there's so many great things happening and I congratulate staff, Mr. Mayor, your council for um, initiating this. And I know there was probably some talk about whether this was a good idea, but having been only temporary, it's a wonderful way to consult with the community. And I'm delighted that the New South Wales government has seen the great innovation in this and has supported the community with the uh, with the grant that's been allocated. So congratulations to everyone. It's absolutely de I'm delighted to be involved in this, and I look forward to the outcomes that this will produce. And that will mean that the council will have to uh, start thinking about well, how do we make these spaces permanent in the future? And I look forward to being a part of that as well. Thank you. I just would like to take this opportunity before I hand over to the Mayor to obviously wind up the session, but to thank our staff. Um, they've been out and talked to businesses and community. And uh, Siobhan uh, has picked that up as our strategic planner and been very creative in these spaces under the guidance of her manager, Viv. So, but this has been really a group effort. Whenever we put one of these things on, it's wonderful to see our parks guys out getting the place looking pristine our people in the streets, whether it's our guys doing the bins and cleaning them all up and getting it ready um, so that we can um, have our buskers out straight after lunch. Uh, it really is a team effort and always obviously to Chris who makes us stand wherever he wants so he can take photos. But um, really communication is a very big part of that. So thank you to the whole of our team and over to the Mayor. Yeah, thanks Colleen. And look, Thanks very much to Wendy and the State Government. We've had fantastic support. And while today's about um, what we're doing up in the streets and everything else, but look around you here and look what's happened over the last few years. You know, the footpath that we've got running through here, the great work that's been done by the, by the group that look after this down here. Um, and right across the Shire, you're seeing in all our villages everywhere, a whole lot of improvements. We were only talking last night about lag and, and the work that's gone on in there, but go to Bindo, for those of you who don't travel out that way, have a look at the fantastic work that's been done there now by way of bus shelters, footpaths, um, seating, and that's what's happening right across the Shire, and, and so much of that is depending on the funding that we get. Yeah, today is a lot about what's happening up there now and the trial and 
we've covered that, Wendy's covered it, Colleen's covered it, but it's much more about improving our, our village areas as well. It's always been contentious, what do we do? Should we be spending more money on roads or should we be spending it here or there? But we need to continue to improve the amenities in our area, our CBD areas if we want to encourage growth, facilities for the existing people, but also our parklands and that's something I'm incredibly fussed about is seeing areas like this develop right across the Shire and we're getting that support, we're getting it from Wendy, We've got a great initiative today and it's really, it's, it's really quite an exciting time and there's just so much more opportunity we can do. Uh, this is arguably a preferred destination across the state because of our location, because of where we are, we can really capitalise on this. This is this is a kind of a, it's a bit in a sense uh, an old established area that we don't want to destroy what we've got, but we've got the opportunity to do some great things going forward. And, and look, it's a it's a great day. I could go on forever and a day about that because it's something I'm really really chuffed about. Clearly, but and I'm also really chuffed about the support we get. Thanks, Wendy, and thanks to the staff. And as importantly as anything, thanks to all the guys from Rotary and everyone else that gets involved in these things because it's the community that makes these things happen uh, above and beyond everything. So thank you for your support as well, guys. Have a good day.